Welcome back and oops. Welcome back and Aubrey is back and he's ready to play Super Millionaire. Which I'd like to thank Jay York, aka Ready on No Fox, for providing me with. And as I mentioned before, guys, you are you are glad you are welcome to help Aubrey. You can even use Google if you like, because I would love to see a ten million dollar winner. Uh, I'm not gonna use Google. I'm not gonna caught myself cheating. <laughs> well, I don't consider using Google cheating. All right, let's play. Let's play Super Millionaire. First question. What is the home city of the NBA team, the Knicks? New I York, the the Detroit, Tulsa, Seattle. Is it me the Hoxie? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you're the Hoxie. Any New York final answer? Yes. New, New York Knicks. New York Knicks, you got it. And there's no... I have the answer to that. For $2,000. Okay, for 2000 What is the common name for the center circle of a dartboard? Cat's eye, bull's eye, raven's eye, snake's eye. We're gonna go B, bull's eye, final answer. Yes. Yep, it's called the bull's eye. Yay. One for 3,000. Yay. On which of these does a treble clef symbol appear? Dartboard, highway sign, sheet of music, fire extinguisher. On a sheet of music, see, final answer. It's a good one. It appears on a sheet of music. You got it for three thousand dollars. Yes, it is. Hey. Going for four thousand. Which Beverly Hills zip code was featured in a TV series title? Nine oh two one oh. Nine oh nine one oh two oh. Nine two oh one oh. Nine oh one two oh. The name of the show is Beverly Hills Nine Oh Two One Oh. A final answer. <laughs> it's a good one. It's called Beverly Hills yes. 90210. You got it for 4,000. One for 5,000. How long does it take the light from the sun to reach Earth? 8 minutes, 16 minutes, 24 minutes, 32 minutes. How long does it take the sun to reach Earth? I'm pretty sure it's 8 minutes. But let me take it over fast. Yeah, I'm gonna say eight minutes. That's five minutes. Yeah, it's eight minutes. You won five thousand dollars. Yay! 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 Good. That looks super familiar. Nicely done. Got through the bottom tier without any lifelines used. Here it is for ten thousand dollars. What type of nut are you said to be working for if it's very it's for very little money? Hazelnuts, coconuts, donuts, peanuts. <laughs> I wish it was for donuts, but if you're working for very little money, it says you're working for peanuts. So I'll make D peanuts final answer. Got it for ten thousand dollars. I wish it were donuts though, but it's peanuts. This is question number seven, and it's worth twenty thousand dollars. Take a look. Which of these is a popular spicy dish of Louisiana? Gumbo, Rambo, Bimbo, Dumbo. Although I've never had this, I know for a fact that it's gumbo. A final answer. Got it for twenty thousand dollars. Yay! About halfway through, haven't used any lifelines yet. This is for thirty thousand. Right. Which animal is known as the king of the beasts? Like Elephant, that. gorilla, lion, yes. rhinoceros. I'm pretty sure that the king of the beasts is the lion. Yes. Let me think about this. Yeah, lion. See, final answer. For it. Good. You got it for thirty thousand dollars. 
This is question number nine, and it's worth fifty thousand dollars. How many pawns does each player start with in a standard game of chess? Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Oh, I've never really played chess that much, but I have a few friends who do. You start with eight pawns, so I'll say eight, eight, five. Final answer. You start with eight pawns, you got fifty thousand dollars! Nice! That is incredible! The first nine questions without using any lifelines! Question number ten, this is worth one hundred thousand dollars. How many X's are there on a regular clock face with Roman numerals? I know that. Two. Three. Yeah, Four. Five. I know there's an X on the, uh, nine. There's an X on the ten. There's an X on the eleven. And an X on the twelve. So I'm gonna make, a uh, C for my final answer. Oh, yeah. And you just won one hundred thousand dollars! Yep. I need a You know what that sound means? You have just entered a whole new dimension here on Super Millionaire. We are now adding two new lifelines, Three Wise Men and Double Dip. If you're ready, Aubrey, this is your half million dollar question. Which of these colors is not considered a secondary color? Oops, that's a spelling spelling error on the creator's part, but I can fix that. <laughs> anyway, is it purple, green, yellow, orange? I'm going to see yellow, final answer! Yellow! I said yellow, see yellow, final answer. Yellow, final answer. Even though you had nothing to lose, you won five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah. Red, yellow, blue. Eleven straight questions without using a lifeline. Question number twelve worth one million dollars. Instead of an eagle, Benjamin Franklin advocated using what bird as the U.S. national animal? Owl. I got an idea. Hawk. Turkey. Falcon. I'm gonna say C turkey final answer. Yes! Yeah, the turkey. <laughs> That's turkey talk for you just won a million dollars! Yes! Yes! Yeah, Aubrey! I am impressed! Twelve right, questions Aubrey. without using a yeah. lifeline! <laughs> Can you keep it up though for two and a half million dollars? Let's find out. Oh, I hope he wins. An NHL puck is how many inches in diameter? Two inches. Three inches. Four inches. Five inches. I would say... In diameter, I would say... Three, three inches, final answer. Oh my god. You still have all of the lifelines left. Three inches. Go, final go answer. Go three inches, final answer. You'll lose nine hundred thousand dollars. I don't think I'm wrong here. You got two and a half million dollars. Yeah. Yes. I am impressed. Thirteen questions without ever having to use a lifeline. Question number fourteen worth half worth five million dollars. By definition, eustatic change is a worldwide alteration in what? Ozone layers, radioactivity, surface temperature, sea level. I'm gonna go deep. Before I lock it in, what makes you think it's sea level? Because that, um, 
Because I think the ozone layer has something to do with something entirely different. And radioactivity, I know that there's uh, some electricity and, you know, radioactivity because of, you know, static, but I really think it's sea level, so we're going to need final answer. Lock it in. Alright, I don't need to ask because I'm pretty sure it's correct. I hope it's correct. Oh, Aubrey, Aubrey, yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey. Oh my god. <laughs> you run away from $10 million! Yay! Yes! Woohoo! Can you pull off a John Carpenter here? I yeah. don't know! <laughs> The this is it. The ten million dollar question. Here it is. During standard time, what is the difference between California and Hawaii? Wait a minute. Let me think about it. One hour. Two hours. Three hours. Four hours. Let's go ahead and do a fifty-fifty. All right. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Aubrey just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Oh boy, that doesn't help. Ooh. Well, actually, yes, it does. I'm gonna use my double dip. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Go for it. I'm so, gonna go B, two hours, final answer. Let's try two hours first. The bad news is, you just switched to your double dip because the good news is, YOU ARE A SUPER MILLIONAIRE! Alright, <laughs> Aubrey. Aubrey won the mail for the $10 million! Oh, behold, our very first Let's super see. millionaire! Oh, well done! Woo! Good job, Aubrey. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is amazing! Well, right, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. that's gonna have to wrap it up here for tonight. But can but can it happen again? We will we will see about that on our next super millionaire. Good night, everyone. <laughs>